Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. So today's video is going to be fall DIYs utilizing some sort of leather. And I know it's a little early for fall DIYs, but I've seen lots of other YouTubers do fall DIYs already and I decided to go ahead and jump in on the bandwagon. So for my first DIY, we are going to be utilizing a Dollar Tree leaf sign, some faux leather. They also came out with words in leather, some pit berries, some Arteza paint, but not that one, and some ribbon. So first off, I'm going to be taking my Ryobi heat gun and heating up the back of the sign because as you can see on the front of the sign, there's an extra piece of wood. And I want to remove that without breaking it because we are going to utilize it for this project. So that took me a very long time to do, like over 10 minutes, and you'll see I actually burnt it on the back, but once it came off, I am taking my Ryobi sander and I am sanding down the bits that are left over it, and then I'm going to take a bunch of Mod Podge and I'm going to cover this entire thing with Mod Podge. I actually do more than one layer of Mod Podge on this to make sure that I can adhere the faux brown leather from Dollar Tree on top of this and it won't come off. I make sure I get all the way to the edges of this sign so that it will stick really, really well with this. Then I'm going to take out my brown faux leather. I only have one of these. Well, I'm going to turn around and cut it down so I can adhere it on to this sign. And don't worry if it has lines in it because they come right out when you get it down. Then I'm going to turn it over and as you can see on the back, it's burnt. So I didn't like the look of that. I'm waiting for the Mod Podge to dry and I'm going to take a little bit of antique wax which is just like a brown stain for that wood and put it on the back of it to cover up where it was burnt. After that I am using my Ryobi hobby knife which is just like an exacto knife and I am cutting really close to my wood leaf and going around to cut out the shape of the leaf to make sure that I get a nice clean edge on it, turning the leather as I go. I'm just cutting off the excess leather for this and it worked out really, really well. I'm going to make sure that I get all the little connections before I take it off and when I'm done, you have a perfect cutout of this leaf in the leather. And I'm going to save all that leather for other projects because it is quite nice. Then I'm going to turn this over and I, with some little detail scissors that I have from Dollar Tree, cut any little loose ends. Now I'm taking some Arteza paint in the color Pearl Marmalade. It's one of their metallic paints. I absolutely love their paints. This is not a sponsored video, but if you're interested in their paints, I will have a link in my description at the end of this video for you to check them out. It is such a nice quality of paint that I only need one coat for this and I think the color goes really well with the leather. So now I'm going to take and just glue that down back where it was and you can see the two tone of color makes this really pop on it and I love the fact that it's metallic. So I opened up some beige faux leather words that Dollar Tree came out with this year. I don't know if they had it last year, but I settled on the word bless. It was bless and thankful in there. And so I settled on the word bless and I'm going to be gluing that to the front of my leaf sign here to make a nice wall hanging. And you can actually stop here if you want it, but you guys know I'm extra. And if you're new to my channel, I like to take it a full extra mile for all of my projects. So I'm going to make a double bow here out of this Dollar Tree ribbon. It's like a gingham. I got it last year, but I do believe they probably have it this year in their like fall decorations as well. All I'm doing is looping the loops over more than once and then uh, taking some pit berries that I cut off just a little section of it and wrapping it around to be the tie of the middle of this bow. Once I get that all tied the way that I want and I put the pit berries in the front of the bow where I want, I'm going to cut off the other end. I always seem to tie my bows with them still connected to the full spool of ribbon. It just kind of works out for me. I don't know. 
But once I get that tied in the double bow like I want, I'm going to cut off the other end and then I'm going to glue it to the center of my leaf at the bottom under the blessed sign where the two pieces actually connect. Then once I have that down, I already pulled off some pit berries over to the side as you can see. I'm going to cut those down a little bit more and I'm going to adhere them on either side of the bow just to give it a little extra decoration. And then once I get both of those on to this sign, I'm going to cut off the tails of it and then take some of those extra pit berries that were left on the pieces that I cut off and put those in the middle of the sign with the, I do believe, four pieces of pit berries that are already there. I just thought that it needed a little bit more in the center, but after I cut the tails, then it's done. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It was simple. The colors go really well together. And I really wanted to do something with the Dollar Tree faux leather. And I think this turned out really, really well since they came out with the words. Now on to our second DIY. For this one, I'm using some different Dollar Tree words. I had them last year. Some Dollar Tree burlap leaves. I also have uh, some ribbon from Joanne, some do Dollar Tree burlap, and then this other kind of checkered ribbon that came from Hobby Lobby. Also from Hobby Lobby is this leather charger. These were regularly $5.99 last year and I got them on clearance. And then this year I found this beautiful plate. It has some damage on it and it was 40% off of I think $11.99 but they gave me an extra 20% off because it was damaged on the back. So in order to put this plate onto this charger, and this is what I want to do, I'm using Gorilla Epoxy Glue. It was a two-part system that I had to mix in this cup, and you should use gloves for this. I mixed it up according to the directions, and I put it on the back of the plate, and I'm adding in hot glue so that it sticks down right away so I can work with this project because the epoxy will take several hours to cure and will be fully cured onto that and will not come off after 24 hours. After that, I'm going to be taking some antique wax from Waverly. It came from Walmart. It's the same thing that I used earlier to do the back of the leaf sign. And I'm going to be coating the bottom of this welcome fall sign that came from Dollar Tree in their fall decorations. They have it again this year. Mine are from last year. I did the fall section really dark and then the top, the welcome section, I did it lighter. And now I'm using a baby wipe to wipe away some of the top. So it's kind of like a variegated sign and it's you know it falls down into fall to be darker the color i'm then attaching it here into the middle of my plate i do move this because it seemed a little crooked to me i couldn't tell right there but i am going to be decorating just the top of it and i have these i don't even know what they are they're sort of like wheat stems from Hobby Lobby this year. I really thought they were pretty and they're really quite soft. I took the greenery part off of them because I didn't like it with this and I am gluing it to the middle and the top of my sign. After that, I'm going to take the burlap leaves that came from Dollar Tree and cut the stems down and place them underneath that kind of wheat. After I'm done with that, I am going to be making my signature bow. Now, if you are new to my channel, I make a bow that I call my Chaotic Whimsical Bow, the Lacy Space Bow. And this one does not turn out as perfect as some of my other ones. I will link it down in my description box later one of my videos where I show my bow and then my bow tutorial is always down in my description box if you want to check that out. But if you're an oldie book goodie, you know what this is. So what I do is I take a bunch of ribbons, sometimes up to four, and I wrap them around themselves in layers and then I cut in on the side of that wrap 
to the diagonal and normally I use some kind of floral wire but I've been using little mini zip ties to fasten my bows lately so that's what we're doing we're using a white zip tie and we are tightening it as tight as we can get it but I want to make sure I do not tear through my ribbons then I cut all of the ends all the way through and that's what I'm doing here and then I pull them apart and twist them each one that I pull out I twist now the little thin ribbon you don't have to worry about twisting it'll twist along with the other ones and I slowed it down here so you can see me just pulling it and twisting it and I twist some one way and then I twist some the other way you're just separating the ribbons to make a big ball and then it looks kind of oh then I forgot I had one of my leaves left and so I cut it in half because only five came in the pack and I wanted to make sure that I had enough on either side so I tell you when I look at this later it kind of looks like antlers are coming off of this which would be cool if there was a deer on the plate but it's a little bird so anyway back into our bow it looks like a puff ball so I find where the zip tie came out at and then I take each one of the ends of this bow and I dovetail them now I can tell you right now these ribbons were not very nice the burlap one is from Dollar Tree and it started to fray on me but the checkered plaid one it was from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would do so much better and I was trying to make this whole project to be really neutral but it frayed really really bad on me each one of the corners was starting to peel off so I did dovetail all of these but they kind of look messy and I'm fine with that I think it looks fine as a messy bow because everyone's making messy bows but normally it would be more defined in my lacy space bow now I'm just going to go ahead and glue that in the center and like I said the sign that I glued down wasn't on as straight as I liked it so I took it off and I am going to be re-gluing it down over towards the bird in that empty space and this is what it looks like I know a lot of people don't care for tra traditional fall colors and I love them so I thought I'd give you guys a neuter one as well now if you can't find that Hobby Lobby charger which they do have it online I'm going to show you how you can make your own I have both of those plates one is plastic and the other one is regular dish stoneware and some white of the faux leather from uh, Dollar Tree I would have used the brown again but I only had one brown and it wasn't enough to cover this plate so I'm going to be using the white so then next I'm going to be taking our glass plate and I started to I actually did cover it completely in Mod Podge and I was going to use that to adhere the leather down but as you can see it's wrinkly and after it's sitting for more than a half an hour it never dried on here I don't know why exactly I did leave it on there and it wrinkled up really bad and then I decided to use some of uh, this paint which is the pearl marmalade and I put it on and stippled it with a, like a stippling brush and then I grabbed a regular paint brush and I am going to completely coat this because I do want it more of a brown color this is more of a coppery look but I decided to go ahead and stick that on and as you can see then I stippled it with a stippling brush and it looks so much like suede right here with it wet it does look a little bit different but once it dried it looks so much like suede and I absolutely loved the, the look of it when it got a little heavy with the paint because I did put too much on there I just wiped it off on a paper towel and then went back in and stippled it so once that dried I took it off the plate cleaned the plate up and I took it outside and I spray painted it black then I turned around and I put a dab of hot glue in the middle and I grabbed fabric glue instead of the Mod Podge and I did paint that plate black on the back it was a matte black I didn't paint it black on the top the shiny part is the actual plate I'm taking fabric glue and then putting it in the crease and using my silicone spatula from Dollar Tree to scrape the 
glue kind of into the crevice really well and just press it down and it worked perfectly as you can see you can start seeing the inner circle of that you couldn't see it with the white very well but it's adhering to it perfectly and even though it still looks like it has a whole bunch of creases and bubbles in it it doesn't when I get done with it so once I get the center part to glue down and I only left that for like a couple minutes then I started gluing the edge and once you press it down with the fabric glue after I spread it out some it gets rid of all the creases and I absolutely love how this was turning out and I love the fact that it looks like faux suede so I mean suede is leather it's just a treatment that happens to it so I thought this looked really really nice as this and I'm just going to continue going around until you can see it's pretty much perfectly smooth now after I got done with that you could put your plate on there and you'd have a faux suede or faux leather you could just brush it and not make it look like suede uh it almost looks like a charger with this plate and you could decorate it any kind of way you wanted you can use any of these leaves and stuff from dollar tree but i decided i want to make something different and so i took out this ribbon this metal ribbon that came from dollar tree earlier in the year it has these little buds hanging down from that kind of remind me of pine cones and I painted it the same marmalade and then I decided to glue it all the way around the edge. I have to tell you, this was such a nice finishing touch to the side of this. However, you could see a little bit of the glue that was coming out of the top. I didn't like that. And if you guys have been here a while, you know, I like my projects to look like pretty much you could buy them in the store and so once I got through gluing this all the way down all the way around the edge I grabbed some cord from Dollar Tree this is cording here and I glued it around and then I painted that as well then I grabbed some picks these came from Hobby Lobby I had them in my stash and I decided that I was going to hook them on to this tray I usually adorn my trays and stuff, especially in fall because I love fall so much. So I had two of the same picks and I took one and I just stuck it on the side. I had to glue the pine cone back off on it. And then I took the other one apart and I started sticking in pieces here and there. And this is what it looked like when it was done. I know it looks a little crazy, but I think it's going to be perfect for fall these decorations that are already on here will go with other decorations that I will stick on it when I use for a tray and it works perfectly like this with the little trim going around with my metal ribbon and then I remembered I had some walnut actual logs that we had cut into like bases and so I put it on one of those and look at how cute it turned out I absolutely love this project I have to tell you I think it's my favorite so then I decided let's do a couple more things because I do have a little bit of the brown leather left and so I found one of my Dollar Tree little house frames it has this matting in it that's shaped like the house and I placed it down on to this faux leather leather and then I traced around it now you could have did this with the leaf earlier I did it the other way because it had so many intricate pieces on it. I didn't want it to move on me and to have to try to trace it perfectly. I glued it down, but this was easy. I just traced all the way around this and I cut it out with my scissors. And once I got the outside cut out, I bent it over. These lines will line up on the inside and then I cut out the rectangle. Now make sure you save all of these pieces because that rectangle that I keep I'm keeping I'm gonna use in a future project I know and so if you did this project too or you're gonna try it make sure you save that in case you want to make what I make the next time now I also looked at my little house frame which is not wood I don't think I think it's like a plasticky something or it's got a coating on it and I decided it was too light it was a weird color to the wood 
So I'm putting some antique wax on it and I'm doing it with a baby wipe. So it's kind of wiping it on and wiping it off at the same time. And as you can see, that side that I didn't do was lighter. So I did the whole thing, let it dry and then wiped it down. And I pulled out of my stash this fabric that Dollar Tree had in their fall section last year. I know they'll have something similar, if not the exact same thing this year. So I'm just cutting out a piece that will go into the window, as you can see, of where that matting would be. I cut the corners off because they were sticking out on the side and I'm going to just glue it down to this matting. And then it's time to assemble this back together. I put the glass back in after I cleaned it. Then I'm gonna put down my leather. I am so struggling saying leather today. And then I'm going to put my matting with my fall fabric in it and turn it around. And this is what it looks like. And then I remember they had these little gnome stickers. They're kind of 3D on some of them and I absolutely love them. My granddaughter saw them and she loved them. So I thought I'd do something fun with this. And I'm going to take a couple of the gnomes. I actually end up using three all together. I didn't want to use ones that had pumpkins because I was staying away from pumpkins for most of this DIY. I did show you the one pumpkin plate, but I actually didn't make anything with it until the end here. Um, and so I put one that's holding a pumpkin, one that's holding cookies and like hot cider or hot chocolate. And I put down some little leaves and like a little hedgehog, I think it is. I did put this thankful sign down at the bottom, but I do take it off here in a middle minute because I, I didn't want it to seem like Thanksgiving. So I'd rather take that off. I cut a popsicle stick down and I took a little piece of that faux leather and I put it on top and then I painted underneath it and used a pencil to draw faux bricks. It's so simple. I just did a little bit of like the marmalade with a little bit of white paint so it looked like brick and then I did horizontal lines all the way across going down and then little vertical lines between the horizontal lines to make it look like brick. Then I took the middle sign that says something like give thanks. I, I'm not sure exactly what it says and I can't see it from here. But I took the middle sign and it's kind of like in a little old one. And I took some of this greenery that I do believe came from Walmart and I made a miniature reef. And then I took some more of the little berry garland and wrapped it around it and I cut it off. I then glued that down to make a reef around the words. And I also put on my third little gnome and took off that thankful sign. And then I'm going to add more berries to the top of it. I'm not going to make you guys sit there and watch me glue on the little berries because I cut them off and then added a bunch in the top. And I think it turned out super cute. This is so easy to do. And you could put anything on it. You could put flowers on it instead of gnomes. You could put little like um, corn like uh, on it for, it's just tons of stuff that you can do. So now we're going to do our last DIY. And for this, I'm using the eight inch reform, but I took out the center ring. This, that was for another project last year and I still had this one left. And then I have these leather leaves. They came from Hobby Lobby. They're by, I think it's Robert Stanley and they were only 4 dollars 40% off. So it's three different colors of leaf in there. And I am going to be tucking it down into the reform and gluing one part on the top and one part underneath. You'll see here in a second. And I'm gonna stack them up where they overlap each other and I'm gonna do a little pattern with the colors so that they go around the entire plate on the reform evenly. And literally, this is all I'm gonna do for this DIY. I do add a wood round that's from Dollar Tree's uh, Crafter Square section that says home on it on the back to make it more sturdy. But basically, this is the DIY. So where all of the veins of the leaves on the back connect, I put a dab of glue and I glue it to the outer ring and then I put a dab of glue 
and I glue the bottom to the inner ring. So I tuck it down in between it so one's over and one's under. A dab of glue where all of the veins meet and then a dab of glue where the tail of that meets the inner ring. And I just overlap them and keep that pattern going and when it's done, you can put the plate on it. You could probably glue the plate, the outer ring to the plate and it would stay perfectly fine and the back would just be open and you'd see the back of the plate. However, I decided that I wanted it to be a little more sturdy and make sure that the leaves weren't going to go anywhere and I took one of the wood rounds that is in the crafter square and it says home on one side and I, I glued the other side down just in case I want to take it apart and use it later for a later time and because there was no words on it I knew it would sit nice and flat then I'm gluing all the tips down and then putting hot glue on the back and gluing it to the wood instead of gluing it to the wreath form and it's done <laughs> there's already a hanger on it and I made sure the hanger was facing me but if you want to take the hanger off of it off of the wood round then you could just command strip this to the wall or use alien tape and stick it to your wall and look at how simple this is it's just an easy quick DIY and it looks really cool with this plate that says gather from the Dollar Tree so that's it for this video I hope you guys liked my five DIYs for fall that I brought with you that all have some type of leather on them I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to do something with the Dollar Tree leather and so this is what I came up with. Comment down below and let me know which one of these was your favorite DIY. I have to tell you, my favorite hands down has to be this stand. It looks so much like suede in real life. I wish you guys could see it. And I'm going to decorate it for fall later. So you'll probably see it on my Instagram post or else it might be in the background of another one of my videos. I really do love the little house sign too. I think it's very cute. It's a little busy in the background, but I think my granddaughter's gonna love it and she's gonna wanna keep it herself. I don't know, or, or I can just put it maybe by a coffee bar because they're holding little hot chocolate or coffee. I think it's really, really a cute thing. And then this sign is perfect. I probably am gonna hang it in my kitchen because it has pumpkins on it and that is it and if you are not a subscriber here yet at Lacey Space go ahead hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can know when my next video is coming out also if you like you can follow me over on Instagram it's Lacey Space the same way it's spelled here and I will catch all of you in my next video bye loves